Okay, let's uh, have game two. All right, I think a bit more solid this time in the opening. French. Um, let's just play. I think we're required. So I think Yuva's move is the way to move bishop d7. I think it's kind of flexible. Forget about this bishop b5 stuff. If he wants to take on c5. Now this 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 was a good game in the past. I think I'm gonna try and repeat it, just to try and sack c5 temporarily, and then play b6. I think that's generated quite a bit of counterplay before. Rather than playing c4, which gives white what they want. You know the bishop can reroute here. Kingside's in trouble. If I can actually generate c file counterplay by sacking this pawn, that's an interesting idea, I think, against this system. Because White's played a lot of pawn moves on the queen side. Um, so if that extra pawn is an excuse to play b6, plow into the c file. This knight on f5, it's, it could be potentially a nice outpost. Maybe, maybe I need to support it with h5 later. At the moment, g4, there's... Um, Right, so let's play this move b6. Uh, so I don't know if this is free or anything. Um, it just looks as though now I've got rook c8 and stuff. Um, like that. Should I play g6 first? Or should I just allow bishop f5? I think I'm going to allow bishop f5 and play knight a5 to c4. So this is what I mean. I've got you know semi-open c file for the pawn. Um, if he takes... Actually, he is loosening his light squares a little bit. So even though I would have... Fractured pawns everywhere, um, isolated pawn, double pawns. On the bright side, there'll be the c4 square. So knight a5 to c4 might be more effective. But I'm going to go for this straight away anyway. So um, I think that's a reasonable uh, gambit. Um, well, for five minute chess, this looks like a reasonable gambit idea. Look at these bishops, they're kind of nice. The knight's kind of nice, the rook's nice. The queen side piece is not yet that developed. So if knight d2, there's rook c3. Um, if bishop f5, okay. So, okay, here, knight c4. Knight c4 here, or knight b3. I don't really want to pick up that bishop. I think knight c4. Um, okay. Alright, can I play queen? I want to have queen a6. Just holding that c4 square. Is it worth it? Should I just take on d2? Bishop e7. I'm thinking rook b1 might be strong though. I'm at queen a5 hitting c3. Does knight b3? I think I could just take. I'm going to just take. And then bishop e7. Oh, it's a bishop e7 here or a5. a5 might have a few points to it. I think I'll play a5 to stop. a5 from white. Okay. Now knight g6. This g4 is a bit loosening, I think. I hope. So if I can get in bishop e7 and just castle. I'm not in trouble because of bishop a6 here. Hmm, it's rook b8. Right, so rook b8. Hopefully I'm defending that second rank. Uh, Alright, can I just, I'm going to take and then bishop e7. Bishop e7 here. Takes, king takes d7, maybe. Is that too risky? Can I get in Queen C4? Uh, Queen C4 here. Uh, or Queen C6. If I take King's King's getting knocked about. Queen takes A5, Rook A8. Let's try that. Queen takes a5, rook a8, doesn't that trap the queen? Okay. Right, I can just take bishop d8. Uh, 
and a fast C4 is going to blast me away. Uh, or I can just, I think I can just take him rook a8. If rook b7, king c6. So I'll play for king c6. Hope. King c6 anyway. And bishop d8. And hopefully the bishop. Um, okay, f6 here. This is some tactical thing going on. I hope not. With rook b7, I want to try and get in king c6 now. Okay. Um, and bishop d6 of h5, knight f4. Or knight e7. What about knight e7? Play knight e7 now. Knight c8 to b6 to c4. Attacking a4 and c4, not b6. That might be a good plan. I suppose he's playing for um, know, bishop f4 or something. I can take here because the rook will be in pre. So does that work? Knight takes. takes. There's nothing clever there. I think I will. So um, the rook's kind of not got too many squares. So can I just take in an a4, a3? This looks as though it's a good move. a3, king, king march to b3 maybe. Past a pawn, looks dangerous. Okay, get my king in to b3 and then a2. Looks good so far. Um, I think King B3 here attacking the rook straight away. I just A2, I think. Uh -huh. uh, right. Um, I've always got takes of Bishop F8, so if I just win Bishop Rook A2. Isn't that enough? Or is it better to play bishop takes f4 first? Takes. Uh, well, I think simple. Simple, just win bishop first. I think this this will do. If I can win c3 and d4, that's pr okay. That's my pre-move. I assume he's going to take the queen. <laughs> All right. If after the pre-move, rook a2, say g6, then I've got takes and bishop f8. If he takes with the pawn, um, I don't know, bishop takes f4 here. Is that too complicated? Just rook a2, g takes, bishop f8. I think I'll, I'll just take the rook off and actually even just bishop takes f4 now. Just taking bishop h6. Right, so c3 and d4 dropping off. So the gambit worked out kind of well. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a dynamic, cheap, cheeky idea. And this has been used kind of, I don't know, I've used it successfully in the past when I've played it. So um, the c, but it did seem as though th this was pointless actually here. Just taking, right, maybe, the, maybe knight c4 is not, not great. Just leaving the knight on a5 would have been um, a better implementation than just you know h5, bishop e7 maybe, or bishop e7 just castles. So so I think this this, this actually started to favour white quite considerably. Um, but um, there's a little nice little tactic with the uh, the knight manoeuvre created that nice little tactic knight a4 here. So my king was and then this past a pawn is really kind of dangerous. Comments or questions on YouTube? Thanks so much.